Hello everyone and welcome to another Surface RT quick look video. In my quick look videos I either look at a positive point, a negative point or using something for the first time. And what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate what it's like to find an application, download it and how applications work in a general sense. I'm not going to go into too much detail, it's just going to be a start and end point of uh, getting an application. So first of all, as with any tablet, you need to go to the dedicated store. In this case, it's the Windows App Store. And what I need to do now is I'm going to go for a specific application. So if I swipe in from the right hand side, it gives me these settings in any application. And if I type on search, it's going to give me a dedicated search within this application. And what I want is the BBC application, if there is one, or one that's suitable. And I'm going to uh, start using it. So looking at the results, which came in very quickly, there's two results here. Uh, a Newsreader one and a News Mobile. It looks as though this one has a better rating. So I'm going to choose that one. And as you can see, it shows a nice preview of it. I can scroll down here for a bit more information. There's overviews. I can swipe onto a couple of different pictures uh, just to give me a, a snapshot of what it looks like. Uh, a couple of details, release notes, support of processors, uh, permissions that are used, and a couple of reviews. So the kind of standard stuff that you would see in any uh, app store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it and we'll see what happens when I press install. It's free, uh, so there is no purchase or anything. Uh, so let's see what happens. It's um, installed out very quickly and I get a notification there uh, to tell me that it's installed. Now I could tap on that to go straight into the application or I can let it fade away. So the next question is, where does it actually put this app? Well, if I press now on the home um, windows button, uh, as you can see, it's put it here in this spot here. Now, the reason for this is that is I have previously installed this application, so it's kind of remembered where the application was. If I'd installed it for the first time, it would probably put it in the right-hand side of your home screen in the bottom corner. And that's what it did with this Engadget widget that I installed here uh, a few uh, days ago, and I've left it there for the time being. Now, let's have a look at what I can actually do with the uh, tile on the home screen. So, if you've watched previous videos, you know that I can tickle the application, or tickle the tile, to give me a couple of options. And uh, the, the options here I have, uh, I can make it smaller if I want, like that. And if I tickle it again, I can make it larger. You'll also notice that this tile is a live tile. That means that it's going to scroll through news stories, uh, which is nice, uh, but it can be distracting. You might want to turn it off. It's entirely up to you. And if I tickle it again, I've got the option here to turn off the live tile. I don't want to do that, though. I'm going to leave it as it is. And obviously, one more thing. If I wanted to move the tile somewhere, I could just tickle it again, grab it, and then pick it up. And as you can see, the tiles are sort of reorganizing themselves. So. That's um, in getting an application and then putting it on your home screen and doing a bit of management. Let's launch it and see what happens. Uh, now this app is very picture based, has a nice big uh, thumbnail to begin with, a picture of the day. Uh, this has a nice feature here with this kind of rolling news on the top right hand corner here, which is kind of like the um, BBC website and also the um, television channel, so it's excellent work there. And one thing you have to start to become accustomed to with Windows applications is there's a lot of scrolling from left to right. In, um, I would say, most uh, tablet applications, it's either a fixed page and then you press on a button to navigate somewhere else or you scroll down. But the Windows style seems to be from left to right. So it's kind of just like almost like a timeline that I'm scrolling across here. Um, so I can scroll from left to right. And there's some uh, stories here, and uh, some popular stories, technology. Let's just tap on a random uh, story and see what happens. So it launches into the new story itself with a, a quick uh, thumbnail picture here, and then the article itself. Nicely divided up into three columns, and I can scroll from left to right. The one big problem I have at the moment, and this is going to come up quite a lot in uh, my reviews, I think, is there doesn't seem to be any ability to change the fonts. Now, I'm going to go into this in a lot more detail in other uh, 
videos. But at the moment, if I scroll right and bring the settings for this application, there doesn't seem to be any options here to change the font. And I really want to make the font bigger uh, because that is far too small for me and I prefer my font bigger. But I'll go into that in more detail in another video. So as you can see, I can scroll left or right. The back button tends to be in this top left hand corner for most applications and then I can just jump back. Uh, it's also now asking me if I want to run it in the background uh, because obviously the Windows tablet can do a lot of multitasking. I'm going to choose not because I don't know if I'm going to keep this app and I can change the option later on if I want to. Um, there's an option here to add and remove feed so this is an option within the application so I could take out the most red one. Uh, take out the sport front page which I'm going to do and I'll put in football instead. One problem here uh, seems to be that I can't reorganize my um, news feed because I might want to put football ahead of technology. Again this is not exactly a criticism of a Windows operating system yet. It could be just that the app isn't quite that functional uh, to do such a thing but I haven't seen it anywhere else yet either so that kind of nitty gritty integration of um, apps to give you full control of personalization not quite sure it's there I also must stress that this is not the official BBC um, application either it's actually a third party application so there is a bit of to and fro in uh, between um, how good this app is going to be if it's made by a third party but the the whole broader question is why is there no BBC application on the Windows tablet it's because there's not many applications at all in this store at the moment for example there's no Facebook application so that's pretty much my uh, quick summary of getting an application, managing it on your home screen and then using the application. Of course we'll go into a lot more detail about applications in the future but it was just that kind of first experience, uh, personal opinions about how the whole thing works. And to be honest I'm quite impressed with this application and I'm impressed with how structured and well integrated um, the process is. But we should be used to this now because Android is very good at it, the um, iTunes, Apple is very good at it as well. So Windows not letting itself down there in the general sense of terms. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please do ask me. And I'll be doing a lot more of these quick look videos as we go through the Windows Surface RT tablet. See you again soon in another video.